It's almost a similar answer, I think. I'm, I'm not sure that, um, that design and art and even architecture themselves need to be seen as entirely separate activities. It's much more that it's a spectrum. And both architecture and design have certain functional um, realities. They have to deal, on one hand, with the market, on the other hand, with the use of the, the uses that the client wants. Um, art also has to deal with certain functional realities, um, but those functional realities are related to the desire of the artist, whether he or she wants to be famous, whether he or she wants to be commercially successful. They're more in the control of the individual than the designer or the, art, or the architect, I think. Um, so you have to see these all creative activities in relationship to each other, not necessarily to give one more value than another, but to remember that this, this extraordinary possibility that the artist has to express themselves is something that's quite valuable in society. And that if we exclude, if we make everything pragmatic and functional and only to serve certain immediate purposes, then we will have very little left over to help us imagine. So we need creative design, we need creative architecture that's also free to speculate and to move. But let's not lose the sight that art is the, is, is the space where we can ask the most ridiculous questions, where we can try and answer the most absurd problems. And let's leave that and value that for itself.